Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to make this mini missile launcher. Now for this project I'm using this wide plastic tube with a screw cap. This is going to act as our mini blast chamber. Next I sawed off a 5cm long piece of tube from an old pen. This will make the launch nozzle for the missile. I then drilled a hole at the end of the blast chamber so that the nozzle would fit tight. After that, I stuck it in place. Now I managed to find this old barbecue lighter in the garage. I'm going to use this to create the spark needed to ignite the blast chamber. I taped beneath the switch to prevent being shocked every time I launch the thing. I then used a pin to make a hole for the spark plug to slide into the chamber like so. After that, I found a 15mm long screw to screw into the side of the chamber in order for the spark to jump across. You need to make sure it's only a few millimetres away from the spark plug inside the chamber in order to create the spark needed for ignition. Once the screw is in place, I used a piece of wiring to connect the screw back up to the switch to complete the circuit. I once again covered the switch with more duct tape to insulate the wiring. And now it's nearly time for ignition. For the missile I used a pen lid and a rubber end of a broken nerf bullet stuck through the top. For fuel I'm using isopropanol alcohol, or basically rubbing alcohol. All you need to do is soak a cotton bud in the alcohol and rub it around the bottom of the chamber. Once you've done that, screw the lid back on tightly. It's also a good idea to stick blue tack on the bottom of the lid so the launcher will stay in place once ignited. Now all you need to do is place the missile over the nozzle and away you go. As you can see, it's pretty powerful. Don't forget to blow out the leftover fumes from the chamber between launches. So there we have it. A mini missile launcher. I'll see you next time.